So a little known feature in Adobe After Effects CC 2014 is mask tracking. And not many people know about this. So I've got this piece of test footage here and I basically want to track the face. So I'm going to start by duplicating this layer and I'm going to lock down the bottom layer. I'm going to call this duplicated layer face and I'm going to choose my pen tool and just make sure that Roto Bezier is checked. Um, I'm going to go to frame zero. This should be frame zero here. And I'm just going to create a shape around the face. You just point and click and Roto Bezier automatically curves these points. It doesn't have to be too, um, doesn't have to be perfect. Something like this. So next I'm going to go to window and I'm going to choose tracker. That brings up the tracking controls. So usually if I just click on the layer, we get these options, track camera, warp stabilizer, track motion and stabilize motion. But if I hit M and select the mask, we get a different set of options. We have these analyze controls and a drop down for method. So we basically have different algorithms for the tracking. I'm going to choose perspective. I'm going to make sure I'm at frame zero and I'm going to hit play, which is going to track forwards. So you can see it attempting to track the face, slipping off here, and it's created uh, all these keyframes. So it's done an okay job, except the mask slips off around here pretty bad. So I can basically delete all these keyframes after this point and readjust the mask. I don't think it likes points outside uh, of the screen. So I'm just going to try and bring these in. And I'm going to hit Analyze again. <laughs> it's slipped off a lot this time. Right here. I'm just going to attempt this again. Not really selling this. OK, Analyze. And, okay, perspective, not doing a good job. So I'm just going to delete all these keyframes, go back and try a different algorithm. So I'm going to click on mask. And I'm just going to choose maybe position and rotation. I'm not interested in scale because the camera's fixed. Let me see what happens here. Much better, much better. So basically, perspective was overcomplicating things. This is a much uh, stickier, nicer track. Even though it slips off kind of around here, um, it's okay for this purpose. So next, I'm going to click on face and I'm going to go to effects, red giant color suite, which some of you might not have, but I'm going to choose Cosmo, which is basically digital makeup. So you can see here uh, after and before. So it's basically just kind of smoothing out uh, the contours of the face, applying digital makeup. We have a few options here. We can bump this up and really soften the skin. So there's a definite difference before and after. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on the mask and I'm just going to add some feathering, maybe 32 pixels. Just going to go back to 100% and I'm going to render this. And this is the end result. So just for comparison, I'll show you a before and after so you can compare. So even though the mask tracking wasn't perfect because uh, we feathered it, uh, the end result is uh, good enough. There's no jittering or anything and it basically did the job. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you found it useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.